Bank Holiday Monday, we're live at the palace as the Queen lights her jubilee beacon, a firework spectacular from 10. Back to tonight now, Will Young and Terry Venables are Brian Conley's guests at 9. First, Into the Vault with Davina. <laughs> £100,000. In less than one hour, it could be yours. Do you have the knowledge to unlock the vault? <laughs> Hello and welcome to the vault. Now, quickly take just one last look at this lovely £100,000 jackpot because it's going to stay behind locked doors until it's won either here in the studio or by one of you at home. So, what were you doing last Saturday night at about five to nine? Well, hopefully you're watching The Vault, but there is one person who knows exactly what she was doing, and that is hairdresser Leah Nichols from the Isle of Wight. It was a moment that she will never forget for the rest of her life because she was busy winning an absolute fortune. Nobody'd won last week's double rollover jackpot here in the studio, so totally at random, I phoned one of our viewers, and it was Leah's lucky night, because at stake was 300 grand. This is the final question. What is the longest river in the United Kingdom? Ten, seven. The River Seven! Oh. This one right here, it. it's yours. I don't believe this. It is your 300 grand. Oh, what are you going to do with God. it? What are you going to do with it? Oh, my God. Spend it, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Spend it, baby. And she actually stopped screaming long enough to be with us tonight. It's Leah. <laughs> oh, Leah, well done. How exciting. I know. And what was it like? When you were watching the show and then you heard your phone ring at home, did it even just occur to you that it could be the no, show? Absolutely no, absolutely surreal. Really surreal. Mm. And then when really you found surreal. out that it was the vault, yeah. what went through your mind then? <gasps> oh my God, don't let me get a question wrong. Please don't make me look silly. Then you did. <laughs> oh, and you didn't with the help of lovely Phil, yep. your husband, who Definitely. was shouting. Where was he? He was in the lounge downstairs. Downstairs. Yeah. So he was shouting upstairs, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> and you actually registered during the show? Yes during the show. Wow. About five so minutes. people watching really can just phone in during the show and they can win the money. Definitely. Amazing. Right, well, Leah, here it is, the all-important check. And uh, it's 300 grand. What are you going to spend Thank it on? Thank you. Have some fun with it. Have yeah. a nice holiday and spend it wisely. Spend it wisely. Oh, you're a very sensible yeah. girl. Yeah. <laughs> have a bit of fun. We have. Yeah, and I'll yeah. see you in Mauritius. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> and congratulations, of course, being our first Ever jackpot winner Thank you. on the vault. Very Thank well done, very ladies much. and gentlemen. Leah Nichols. <laughs> oh, you see, it can happen, and the best part is it could happen to you. To be in with a chance of winning tonight's jackpot of £100,000, you must call us now on 0906 191 9000. And if it isn't won by one of our contestants in the studio, I'll be making a call to one of you. I'll be asking you six questions, give me six right answers, and the money's yours. How easy is that? Very easy, Davina. <laughs> First, though, let's meet tonight's studio players, all desperate to get their hands on the cash. All seven called our phone line before midnight on Wednesday and have been plucked at random by our computer. They started by trying to guess tonight's vault combination, which is 6276. <laughs> My vault combination is 1920. My name's Sharon Hemingway. I'm an analyst from Leeds. My vault combination is 5813. My name is Popsy Mube, and I'm a student, and I come from Yeovil, Somerset. My vault combination is 1937. My name is Philip Walden. I'm a jeweler, and I live near Lancaster. My vault combination is 4137. My name is Ian Hingerty, and I'm a paramedic from Stafford. My vault combination is 4936. My name's Bridget Jakes and I'm a teacher from North Lincolnshire. 
My volt combination is 3618. My name is John Chuck. I'm an engineer from Cheltenham in Gloucestershire. My volt combination is 1497. My name is Alan Loft. I'm an insurance advisor from Bournemouth. Closest to tonight's combination are Bridget, Ian, and Alan. <laughs> well, well done to all three of you. Um, now, Bridget, you're a bit of a dancer, aren't you? You teach contemporary dance. I do, yes. So, look, I already had my sort of ballerina fingers. It's very, very like impressive. That, like that. <laughs> um, my husband actually needs a little bit of tuition from you um, because he's a okay. pointer. Have you ever come across them, pointers? Directions. Yeah, and I, and I say to him, why do you point, darling? And he says, it's so I know which direction I'm going in. So he does that, that so he knows where he's going. Can you help him, do you think? I just think it's very good that he's actually dancing. To have do a partner you? that will dance is excellent, yeah. Mm. <laughs> so he's dancing, actually. He's a bit oh. free when he lets go. He really lets go. <laughs> but anyway, um, Ian, hello. Hello. You're a paramedic, aren't you? I, I love am. those medical dramas on the telly, my favourite. Men in white coats and his, what do you wear when you medical green people? jumpsuit? Green <laughs> jumpsuit. You do. Wow! Bet you look great. <laughs> Are they true to life for medical dramas or not? Uh, not really. No. 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 They try and cram everything into an hour, so. Ah, too much drama. Too much drama. <laughs> <laughs> and Alan, you're an advisor, aren't you? Yes, insurance what? advisor, sort of household motor, commercial liability, things like that. So. Oh. Oh, I was hoping for some advice about my hair. <laughs> Not on hair. I've been sure your legs for you, though, so... Oh, no, I, just, I don't think they're worth it, to be honest. <laughs> Not really. No. <laughs> Ten pounds? No, it's not worth it. Anyway, good luck to all three of you. Um, all three of you are going to play the first round. Only two are going to go through to round two. So I'm going to take Alan and Ian to a padded cell, so you don't know how Bridget's doing. And let's see if Bridget has the knowledge to unlock the vault. <laughs> In round one, I'm going to ask Bridget ten questions and she has three minutes to answer all of them correctly. I'll give her £100 for every right answer and if she gets all ten right within the three minutes, I'll also give her a mind-blowing bonus of £5,000. At first, she's on her own and then once she's tried all ten questions, she can buy the answers from the brokers and she only has to pay them for correct answers. And it's all about a bit of wheeling, dealing, ducking and diving because the pressure is really on to get all ten right in the three minutes and bag that bonus. OK, so, Bridget, we're going to give you £1,000 to start off with. Are you ready? I'm ready, yes. OK. Your time starts now. <laughs> what denomination is the official coin to celebrate the Queen's Golden Jubilee? I pass. In the ITV1 soap Coronation Street, what is the name of the character played by Johnny Briggs? I pass. What is the name given to an angle which is less than 90 degrees? Mm, pass. In nature, what is the anatomical name given to an insect's feeler? Pass. With which song did ABBA win the Eurovision Song Contest? Pass. Pride and Prejudice and Emma are novels written by which author? Pass. Don't worry, Bridget. What is the capital city of Algeria? Pass. You can get the broker's help next round. Okay. Which government minister resigned from the role of transport secretary this week? Pass. Lava bread is a Welsh dish made from which plant? Pass. How many yards are in a furlong? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, pass. Right, let's start again and get okay. the help from the brokers. What denomination is the official coin to celebrate the Queen's Golden Jubilee? Pass. In the ITV1 soap, Coronation Street, what is the name of the character played by Johnny Briggs? The brokers can help you now. Um, Jula. £150. £100. Deal. Deal for 100 Mike Ball. Correct. What is the name given to an angle which is less than 90 degrees? Pass. Jeweller can help you there. Oh, sorry. Do you want the jeweller's help or just move on? Uh, move on. Okay. Uh, in nature, what is the anatomical name given to an insect's feeler? 
jeweler. Two hundred pounds. hundred pounds. One hundred and fifty. hundred pounds. Deal for a hundred. Deal for a hundred. And ten hours. Correct. With which song did ABBA win the Eurovision Song Contest? Analyst. Two hundred. A pass. Pride and Prejudice and Emma are novels written by which author? Um, student. One hundred pounds. A hundred pounds. Jane Austen. Correct. What is the capital city of Algeria? Pass. Which government minister resigned from the role of transport Pass. secretary this week? Pass. Okay, lava bread is a Welsh dish made from which plant? Jula? Jula? 200 pounds. Pass. How many yards are in a furlong? 100. 50. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I am analyst. Oh! Bridget. Bridget. Bridget, that was just so tense. Did you mm. feel really nervous? Yeah, I think I just panicked. And, and the brokers were there and quite often they had the answers and you just oh, were going past, past. No, and I kept not. trying to say, they're there, they've got the answers. I know. Because it kind of pays in that round to just pay for the answers, mm. you know. Anyway, yep. you still did okay. Let's just take a quick look at the answers of those questions. Uh, our last question was about the yards in a furlong. There are 220 yards in a furlong. Okay. Uh, what denomination is the official coin to celebrate the Queen's Golden Jubilee? It's a fiver. Um, the name given to an angle of less than 90 degrees is acute. ABBA won the Eurovision Song Contest with Waterloo. Um, Algiers is the capital of Algeria. Uh, Stephen Byers, very controversial figure. He resigned from the government uh, this week. Lava bread has got seaweed in it. But even though you didn't get all 10 right in the three minutes, you did win yourself £1,300 and you spent £300 with the broker, which leaves you with... One thousand pounds. It was very tense there for Bridget coming up. Ian and Alan are going to be in the hot seat. But remember, if tonight's jackpot isn't won here in the studio, it could be won by one of you at home. But only if you call us. Leah Nichols uh, rang during the show last week, and that call won her three hundred thousand pounds. So write that number down. It's oh nine oh six one nine one nine thousand. The calls cost no more than one pound, and you must be 16 or over to enter. It might not be just the Queen having a big party this weekend, so make that call. It's £100,000. Could be yours tonight on The Vault. <laughs> England's World Cup adventure kicks off only on ITV1. We are quite capable of beating uh, anybody in the world. You have to go out with confidence and you have to work. Uh, make us all proud of you. On behalf of the whole country, we wish you all the best. England play Sweden live tomorrow morning, 10.30, ITV1. Tonight we've got a £100,000 tax-free jackpot up for grabs and it could be you in with a chance to win it if you call us now on 0906 191 9000. If the money isn't won here in the studio, you could have me on the phone with six questions that can make you 100 grand richer. And while you're dialing, it's Ian's turn to try and win that money for himself. So, Ian, ready? Yes, I'm ready. OK, your time starts now. Who played the title role in the film Jerry Maguire? Pass. How many incisor teeth should a human adult have? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Eight, correct. What is the name given to an animal that lacks a backbone? Invertebrate. Correct. What scale is used to measure the magnitude of an earthquake? The Richter scale. Uh, I would also accept Macaulay. Damask and sweetbriar, a species of which flower? Pass. In which county is Leeds Castle? Um, pass. Which author wrote the novel The Colour Purple? Pass. In what year were pound coins introduced in Britain? 79, 80. 81, 82, 83. 83 is correct. 
The Queensbury rules were established in which sport? Boxing. Correct. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious is a song from which famous musical? Mary Poppins. Correct. Who played the title role in the film Jerry Maguire? You can get the broker's help. Analyst. 300. Student. 200. Deal for 200. Tom Cruise. Correct. Damask and sweetbriar, a species of which flower? Julie. 300, and you need this. Deal for 300. Right, rose. Correct. In which county is Leeds Castle? Kent. Correct. Which author wrote the novel The Colour Purple? This is your final question. No idea, brokers? One minute left. Engineer's got his light on. Engineer. 300. Deal for 300. Enia Blyton. Incorrect. Analyst. 250. Deal for 250. Roll down. Incorrect. <gasps> Ian. Just don't know. 300. Deal for 300. Barbara Cartland. Incorrect. Student. 300. Deal for th 300. Stephen King. Incorrect. I can't bear it. 20 seconds left. Analyst's got a light on. Analyst. 200. Deal for 200. Barbara Taylor Bradford. Incorrect. 10 seconds left. <laughs> no. Engineer. 300. Deal for 300. Geoffrey Archer. No. Incorrect. You're trying so hard, but it's pretty much the go you answered all the questions you got stuck on one alice walker wrote the color purple no. never heard of her never heard of her unfortunately for ian none of you had heard of her so he didn't get that five thousand pound bonus he was so close but you did get one thousand nine hundred pounds and you spent five hundred pounds so that leaves you with one thousand four hundred pounds <laughs> If you want to win tonight's jackpot for yourself, time is running out. You've got to call this number within the next few minutes. 0906 191 9000. And if you haven't been able to get through yet, do keep trying. It is just so worth it. Now, two contestants down and our brokers are still hoping to pile up the cash for themselves. So let's see if they can keep that up with our third contestant. Here's Alan. <laughs> Alan, how's our soundproof room? Quiet. Yes, good. <laughs> good, good. So, are you ready? Yep, ready as I will be. Your time starts now. Vanessa May is famous for playing which instrument? Cello. Violin. Correct. Lime Street Railway Station is situated in which British city? London. Liverpool. Correct. Who is the current President of France? Jacques Chirac. Correct. What is the maximum number of clubs that a professional golfer is allowed to carry in a tournament? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 14, correct. Emmental is a variety of cheese originating from which country? Switzerland. Correct. One for My Baby is a 2001 novel by which author? Pass. Linguistics is the scientific study of what? Languages. Correct. Which is the largest planet in the solar system? Jupiter. Correct. In which year was Hong Kong returned to China? 1994, 5, 1996, 1997. 1997, correct. In Britain, what do podologists study? Feet, walking, pass. Okay, back to question six. One for my baby is a 2001 novel by which author? Well, it's not Geoffrey Archer. <laughs> no, it's not Geoffrey Archer. Ah, uh, pass. In Britain, what do pathologists study? Bicycles, feet, walking. Student? 300 pounds. 150? Deal for 150. Deal for Running? 150. Incorrect. 
jeweler? 200. 150? 200. Deal for 200? Caving. Incorrect. Pass. OK, back to question six. One for my baby is a 2001 novel by which author? Pass. In Britain, what do pathologists study? Ah. Jeweler. Children. Incorrect. Didn't do anything. Um, pass. One for my baby. 2001 novel for which author? Uh, for the author. Uh, pass. We're going back to the pathologists. In Britain, what do pathologists study? Music? Engineer. Ten 300. seconds. Engineer? 300. Deal for 300. Law. Incorrect. <laughs> Pathologists yep. study soil, mm. of all things. Anyway, and the other one was the 2001 novel, uh, One for My Baby, was written by Tony Parsons. Oh. So, Alan, you did very well, actually. Um, you got eight questions right, which made you £1,800, and you spent absolutely nothing with the brokers, so you still have £1,800. So, let's take a look at how the brokers are doing. Um, the analyst and engineer, you have yet to start, but everything to play for in the next round, so don't worry. But striding ahead, our hot broker is Jula with £500. <laughs> OK, so you've all done round one, but only two of you can go through to round two, so let's take a look at those all-important scores. Bridget, you got £1,000. Ian, you got £1,400. And Alan, you got £1,800. Mm. So you know what that means, Bridget? Yeah. It means bye-bye, <laughs> Bridget. But, uh, Bridget, I hear you're a bit of a biker. Well, my partner's a biker. <laughs> you're a sort of fair-weather biker, aren't you? Oh, only if it's a sunny day. <laughs> <laughs> so so £1,000, great new set of minxy leathers. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for being Thank such a good much. sport. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, you. Bridget. Now, here is where things start getting a bit serious for Ian and Alan. Let's see who has the knowledge to unlock the vaults. <laughs> right, the money that Ian and Alan have pocketed so far is safe. No one can get their mitts on it. Now the pressure is on. I'm going to ask alternate questions and give them £200 for every correct answer. But Ian and Alan only have 15 seconds to get a question right. They can use the brokers if they need them. Uh, if they don't or can't answer within the 15 seconds, then it's over to the other side. Whoever gets the most right in four minutes gets a £5,000 bonus, so giving correct answers quickly is the key to winning this round. To start them off, I'm going to give them £1,000 each, because I'm lovely like that. <laughs> and the first question goes to Ian. OK? The time starts now. Ian, which American magician completed a 35-hour endurance stunt atop an 80-foot pole in Manhattan on the 23rd of May this year? Over to you, Analyst. Alan. Analyst. 500. Deal for 500. David Blaine. Correct. Alan, traditionally, how many times are guns fired at the Tower of London on the Queen's birthday? 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. <coughs> Over to Ian. 41, 42, 43, 
21. 20, 19, 18, jeweler. 500 pounds. Deal for 500. The uh, number of years <coughs> she's... It was 62, so nearly there. <laughs> Ian, what is the cube root of eight? Two. Correct. Alan, by what name is the actor, writer and director Alan Stewart Konigsberg better known? Engineer. 500. Deal for 500. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Incorrect. Um. Over to you, Ian. Answers Woody Allen. <laughs> Ian, on a London underground map, which line is represented by the colour brown? Central line. Engineer. Thousand. Five hundred. Deal for five hundred. In a circle. Incorrect. Central. Waterloo. <coughs> Victoria. Jubilee. Northern. Western. Bakerloo. Bakerloo, correct. Alan, in which city is the statue of Hans Christian Andersen's Little Mermaid? It's in uh, Rotterdam, Amsterdam, Copenhagen. Copenhagen, correct. Ian, we go together and you're the one that I want. Songs from which film and stage show? Greece. Correct. Alan, which classic children's book is about a rabbit community in search of a new warren? Uh, engineer. 500. Deal for 500. Order ship down. Correct. Ian, in which state did the Battle of Gettysburg take place during the American Civil War? Um, Pennsylvania. Correct. Alan, the Nutcracker Suite and Swan Lake are ballets using music written by which classical composer? Engineer. Thousand. Deal guaranteed. For th uh, 500. Thousand guaranteed. I've got a thousand. Jeweler. 500, guaranteed. Tchaikovsky. Correct. Ian, in language, what name is given to a word that is formed by rearranging the letters of another word? Cinnamon. Jeweler. 500. Deal for 500. Anagram. Correct. Alan, from which French port were the British Expeditionary Force and the French First Army evacuated to Britain in 1940 during the World War II? Dunkirk. Correct. Ian, Stuart Duff won the 2002. Okay, let's look at the scores. Alan, you've got £700, and Ian, you've got £1,300 after we've added everything up from that round. But the all important question is who got the most right answers? Who's up for that £5,000 bonus? Well, Ian, you got four correct answers. And Alan, you got six correct answers, so the £5,000 goes to you, which leaves you a total of £5,700. <laughs> so, who's going to be going through to the final? Let's take a look at the totals from both rounds. Ian has a total of £2,700, and Alan, a total of £7,500. <laughs> so that means... It's over for Ian. Thank you very much. Oh, but did you enjoy it? Yes. Quite yes. tense, wasn't it, that last round? Very. £2,700, not bad. Well done. Thank you very Big much. Big round of applause, please, for Ian! Thank you. And let's check out the brokers. Now, student, you've got £300. Engineer and analyst, hurrah! <laughs> you have got £500. And, engineer, can I just say, I loved your style at that last bit of brokering. £1,000, and he didn't even have it. He could have lent it. For our hot broker at the moment, and boy, is he hot with £1,500, it's the jeweller! <laughs> so, hello. Just ten questions stand between Alan and £100,000. Ten correct answers will give him a jubilee weekend to remember, and it'll be the toughest two minutes of his life. And if he doesn't win the money, it could be the night of your life. This really is the last chance to call us to register for tonight's game, so don't put it off any longer. Call 0906 
191 9000 right now. And if Alan doesn't win the jackpot, I could be calling you and you could be winning £100,000. So go on, do it. After all, it worked for Leah Nichols last week. £100,000 next, right here on The Vault. Bless him, is about to play live for tonight's big £100,000 prize. And, as you know, if he doesn't win, I'll be calling one of you. Now, if you haven't phoned us, why not? It's too late now to register for tonight's game, but we'll be taking calls for next Saturday's show from the end of tonight's programme. Call before midnight on Wednesday for a chance to be playing here in the studio uh, next week, or call any time over the next seven days for a chance to win the jackpot from your armchair. And, of course, you can win prizes at home by playing the online game at itv.com slash the vault, where you'll also find uh, all the rules. Now, though, the big moment has arrived for Alan. I can see you there out of the corner of my eye. You're going... <sighs> <laughs> now, Alan, I know for a fact that you've gone in for quite a few quiz shows before. and, um, and... It's sort of a hobby, more or less. But... Right. And your method <laughs> is call as many times in one day as you possibly can. I do a dozen calls if I'm sort of doing it, trying it on the... A dozen calls a day? Lucky dozen. So, actually, Alan, I'd like to say thank you because you've probably paid for half of your own jackpot, so that's great. <laughs> <right. laughs> Not quite thank that, you. I think. <laughs> right, Alan is now tantalisingly close to £100,000. All that is in the way are ten questions. The first is worth £250, the ninth is worth £25,000. If Alan gets that ninth question right, we'll add twenty-five grand to his original total. The brokers can give help at any time, but their help costs, and this is where it will cost Alan dear. After the ninth question, I'll stop the clock, and Alan can choose a category for his final question, which is tonight worth £100,000. If he gets all ten right and doesn't spend any money with the brokers, he'll be leaving tonight with £107,500. And remember, on that tenth question, no help from the brokers. So, ten questions for 100 grand. And if he doesn't do it, get your kids off the phone because I could be calling you. Right, Alan, mm. this is it. Okay. You've got two minutes. Right. Your time starts now. The 250 pound question. In which year was the Queen's Silver Jubilee celebrated? 1977. Correct. The 500 pound question. In the human body, what is the main constituent of nails and hair? Oh, jeweller? 500 pounds. 250? 500 guaranteed. Do for 500. Keratin. Correct. The 750 pound question. NSW is the abbreviation of which Australian state? New South Wales. Correct. The 1,000 pound question. What is the first animal listed in the Oxford English Dictionary? Aardvark. Correct. The £2,000 question. Which singer released the 2001 album Songs from the West Coast? Madonna. Oh, Elton John. Correct. The £5,000 question. For which constituency is Tony Blair the Member of Parliament? Sedgefield. Correct. The £8,000 question. Who was the first Olympic gymnast to be awarded a perfect mark? Oscar Corbett. Engineer? £500. Deal for £500. Olga Colbert. Incorrect. Analyst? Analyst? No. Jeweller? £1,000. Deal for £750? Deal. Never at it over. Incorrect. Deal? Engineer? £1,000. £750? Deal for £750. Nelly Kim. Sorry? Nelly Kim. Incorrect. Russian. <sighs> Russian. Five seconds left. When you hear how close you were, Engineer, because you kind of knew 
and you couldn't remember her name, no. and it was Nadia Comaneci. <laughs> and you were sort of nervously hoping yeah. that I might just think that you'd said it and mumbled. <laughs> you sort of went, Nadia me. <laughs> and I didn't fall for it, engineer. I couldn't but you're so it. close. Mm. But you still did really, really well. You may not have got the hundredth ground, but let's take a look at how you did. Right, Alan, uh, you got twelve thousand five hundred pounds. You spent five hundred pounds, so that leaves you with twelve thousand pounds. <laughs> Soon, so you can go and have that lovely wedding abroad. Right. Yes. Now, let's see how our brokers did as well. Um, okay, student, you got £300. Uh, analyst and engineer, £500 each. Congratulations. Jeweller, you are still a hot broker with £2,000. Well done. <laughs> oh, yeah. Which means we have a whole wave of panic just gone right across the country because one of you lot is about to get a call. Stand by your phones. It's time to open the vaults. <laughs> OK, we have had calls by the bucket load. Uh, seven of you will be picked at random to be here in the studio next week. But right now, Colin, our computer, is picking just one of you to play for tonight's jackpot. So let's dial that number, please. If your phone rings in the next few seconds, don't just sit there. Answer it. You could be about to get rich now. Is your phone ringing? Oh. Hello? Hello. Hello! Hiya. This is Davina McCall calling on ITV1 from The Vault. What's Hi. your name? Uh, Hello? I'm Phil. Hello, Phil. You are live on ITV1 on The Vault. Oh, excellent. Lovely. Excellent. Lovely. That's all you get. I'm giving you the chance to win £100,000 here, Phil. You're right. I I'm need some excitement from... Good. Good. Any good on your general knowledge? Well, not bad. Hey, great. You're quite cool, aren't you? I love that. OK, you've got one minute to answer six questions. Two of them have already been answered correctly in tonight's show, so you should already be a third of the way to the dosh. You cannot pass, get all six questions right, and the contents of the vault tonight, £100,000, is yours. OK. Phil, I'm yeah. going to really need you to speak up. OK. All right, good luck. The questions are going to come up on your screen, and uh, that will also show you how much time you've got, all right? OK. Your one minute starts now. Who played the title role in the film Jerry Maguire? Mate, we've asked this. Pass. You can't pass. Oh, God. Are you with anyone, Phil? Yes, but they don't know neither. <laughs> you could start guessing. Um, no, We've asked no, them. No, no, we, no. Well, you're watching the show. No, I don't know. <laughs> oh, what can God, I say, what a great Phil? What debut this is, isn't it? But this is great television. <laughs> yeah. Mate, Jerry just McGuire, let any let film see. stars uh, guess. Uh, Phil, you're killing me Mick here. Mick Jagger. You're Mick Jagger. He's not a film <laughs> star. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> Mate. Mate. Bangos. Bill! That was atrocious. Hey. <laughs> I'm only joking, but we only got to the first question and I've already asked it during the show. Oh, my God. You're going to kick yourself. £100,000. It could have been yours. The answer was Tom Cruise. Well, I knew that. I was just testing. Of course you knew that. <laughs> Phil, yes. it pays to watch, and it pays to watch with as many people as you can in this show because you need the help. Thank you. But, mates, have a lovely Saturday night. Thanks. Can't believe it. Phil, Phil, Thanks. Phil. OK, bye. That means, guys at home, that next week we are playing for a jackpot of £200,000. <laughs> Please, 
watch the show with as many people as you can. You could be twice as rich as you would have been if you'd have won tonight. So call us now, and that double whammy could be yours. Phone 0906 191 9000. The lines will be open all week. Even if you rang in tonight, you have to call again to qualify for next week's game. Brian Connolly's up next. We're back next Saturday at 6.30. See you then. <laughs> And as Davina, Davina says, Brian Conley's back next, reminiscing with Terry Venables and singing with Will Young.